What's up everybody, this is John with One Over Outdoor. So as many of you know, I love hunting. I'm a big bow hunter. But we're gonna go over some things in my bow, in my bow case that I carry with me when I go out of state bow hunting. And, and these are items that, that you need to have whenever you go out of state hunting. Um, there might be instances where you're not able to get to an archery shop or, and, and a lot of this stuff is just, just regular maintenance, extras in case parts break. But uh, we're gonna go through it and let's see what's in my case. All right, so one of the most important items you can have on this trip is the bow case itself. Now I have hard cases, um, but I prefer a soft case. Now this is a game winner deluxe bow case, and you can get this bow case at Academy. I think it's like 60 or $70. But the thing I like about it is, it's got a really, really solid base to it, the bottom. Um, it's water resistant, but I'm not worried about my bow being thrown around because we're not flying. So it's not gonna be any handling issues like that. So. First item that you need to have in your bow case is a rangefinder. And this is a pursuit rangefinder and it does have um, angle compensation on it. But um, that's one of the first items you need to have in your bow case. Any bow hunter is gonna have a rangefinder on it. Next, you need to have extra releases. So I have wrist style releases. I have thumb style releases. I, the one that I use, which is a Bone Collector T-Rex by Trueball. This is another true ball thumb style release. Then I have another wrist style release. I always like to take extra release saves because you just never know when one's gonna fail, um, you're gonna lose one. Uh, and so it's always good to have extra releases. So I usually carry around four with me. Over here, we have my stabilizer. This is an eight inch Trophy Ridge Hitman stabilizer. And then we have other pieces as well. So these are extra knobs to my thumb style release. So we're gonna get onto what's on this side of the bow case. The thing I love about this bow case is it has a really thick foam divider. So your bow's on one side and it's got multiple areas for you to strap your bow down on. And this is my Matthews Tri-X, um, great bow. Got a Trophy Ridge React 5 sight on it. Um, that is a Virtus drop away rest. But you've got a great thick foam padding divider that will protect your bow. And even, and even the top up here is very, very thick as far as the foam. It's probably about an inch and a half thick. And this is probably around an inch thick as well. But this part here has got more than enough room for all the stuff you need to take. Um, so we're gonna go get it, we're gonna get into what's in here. So this is my broadhead box. And you can never have enough broadheads. As you, you, <laughs> as you can see, I have tons of broadheads, ranging from Montex to Spitfires, Swackers, um, Grave Diggers, uh, Rages, uh, G, G5, um, M3s, Longbusters, Wacoms, um, Dead Ringer, extra collars for the Rage Broadheads, and then we have our field points. So that is my Broadhead box. I love Broadheads. I love the technology uh, behind them. And I firm believe you can never have enough broadheads because that is what puts the animal down. So you always want to want to have enough broadheads and a variety of broadheads in case you decide you want to try something else. The next thing is an extra sight. And so this is, I think this is an extreme sight, but, but in case something was to happen to my Trophy Ridge React 5, I would, I would feel comfortable because I have an extra sight with me as well. So on to the arrows. So I shoot, these are gold tip kinetic 340s. And these have NAP quick fletch twister veins on it. And I'm shooting a 25 grain ballistic collar on these. And so these are a 340 spine arrow. 
and I absolutely love them. They're a micro diameter arrow. They fly amazing. But I always want you always want to carry extra arrows, and I think I have a little over a dozen in here. I think I have 14 or 15 in here, which might seem overkill on a hunting trip, but you just never know. And here's my quiver. My quiver is the uh, Trophy Ridge Hex Light, and it actually has a light inside of it, as you can see, to let you see what um, crawlheads you're choosing. And also has a light at the top of it, in case you need some light walking in the woods and seeing. I personally don't use a green light walking in, I use red just because the deer can't seem to see it. Another thing I like about this case is the compartments here. So we'll go on this side first. So, tape measure. Always carry a tape measure with you. Uh, you can use it for setting, helping set center shot in case stuff gets knocked off. And you just never know when you're gonna need a tape measure. I've got a Torx bit set here. We have a knocking point arrow. In case you're, you wanna change your knocking point. We have extra serving. So this is, I think it's a 0.19 diameter serving. We also have a BCY 400 nylon serving. Crimping pliers. Multi-tool. Extra D-loop material. As you know, I love green. An extra extra rest. Now I prefer a drop away, but I do carry an extra whisker biscuit style rest with me. Another Allen style tool. This is rail snot, and this is for my crossbow because I always carry a crossbow with me as well as a backup weapon. Backup weapon. And here's the other piece to the whisker biscuit style rest. And here is the other box. Now, this box, uh, as you can see, has knocks, inserts, peeps, and kissers. So basically, just extra, extra stuff. You have your kisser buttons, extra peep sights, extra ballistic collars, um, extra inserts if you need them. I have extra lighted knocks, knock collars, all kind of stuff in here. So let's go on to the next. So in this side, we have a flat stone diamond sharpener, and this is for my fixed blade broadheads. We have another, this is a, a D-loop tool and crimping pliers. Now these are pretty cool. You can get these off Amazon, I think I paid like eight bucks. All these are little three quarter inch dots, and I use them on my target. Um, just for extra visibility. I can place a dot anywhere on my target and, and just, you know, if, if the dots that are painted on there get washed off, you can always have a way to uh, have a place to shoot at on your target. Extra wax, a Sharpie, another broadhead sharpener. A very important tool is a lighter. Definitely need that for tying D loops, um, burning off ends of serving. Another rest, which is a hostage style rest. Loctite. Another backup Sharpie. More, more wax. Gorilla glue, super glue. Never know when you're gonna need it. And in this other box here, we have a ton of different tools in here, different Allen wrenches. We have quick, quick release stabilizer mount, um, extra bolts here for um, rest, air rest, just, just all kind of stuff. I have an extra drop away here. Um, just all kind of parts and odds and ends to work on my bow in case I need to. But as you can see, just a ton of stuff. Um, yeah, you never know when, when you're going to need any of this stuff. So, you know, when, next time you plan a out of state trip or you're going away for a weekend, 
you need to look at what you take as far as as bow hunting because you never know when you're going to need some of this and so i always try to take overkill just because you never know got two rest i have an extra sight three types of wax extra sharpeners extra tools you just never know when you are going to need this stuff go ahead and remember to hit that subscribe button like the video i will get back to doing more fishing videos here soon um it's kind of hard to when I'm, I'm hunting and stuff right now this time of year but promise i will get back to that soon but as always thanks for watching and god bless